very spongy and a little bit sour as well. And we are in Manila, in the heart of Manila, in Quiapo, and we came here to eat Filipino street food. So we're going to show you some of the most iconic Filipino street foods right in Quiapo Market. Along with the Quiapo Church, which you can visit, you can come here for a really interesting, unique market in Manila. There's lots of street food there. It's, it's like a flea market, an open-air flea market where you can buy all sorts of things and just even just walking around here and just observing the culture is, is very fascinating. So packed and there's so much going on. There's fruit, there's a lot of fresh ingredients as well. But then I'm also seeing a lot of dried fish, a lot of street food snacks full of everything you can imagine and lots of street food tucked in every corner. Oh, look at all these dried fish. Yes, please. It's called Tangon. So Tangon. The first street food we're gonna try is it. They have a number of different like noodle-looking dishes, and I think this one is mung bean noodles. And I'm not sure what else, but some spices, and it's made into kind of a a soupy dish. What is the name of this dish? Uh, sotanghon. Sotanghon. Soup. It's so, a, so it's a glass noodle uh, okay. with egg and then uh, palabok, one of the popular Filipino pancita. We just got some front row seats. Awesome. Table. Chef's table. Yes. Okay. okay thank you. There's an egg in here, there's the mung bean noodles, there are long beans, there's shallots. Oh, and there's some bits of meat in here too, Anton. Oh, it's hot. Mmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's a little bit salty and a little bit kind of like oily. The broth is kind of oily. But then those noodles, they just kind of slide right down. You barely even need to chew them and they just slide. I'm gonna dig into this egg. Oh yeah, an egg makes everything better. Oh yeah. You cannot eat this fast because it's so hot. Oh, that yolk is on fire. So now you can do some seasoning. So I'm gonna squeeze in a calamansi. Give it a little bit of a, a citrusiness to it. And then also, oh, this is like fish sauce. Add in a little bit of fish sauce. Sprinkle in some pepper. This is really a slurping. Oh, that almost slurped right out of my mouth. This is really a, a dish you've got to slurp. Just been given some, some rice cakes. And these are like, I think they're steamed rice cakes. Break a piece of this and they said that it should be eaten along with the, the soup. It's a little bit sweet and very, very spongy. And a little bit sour as well. <laughs> this little street food stall is so tight that we had to set up the camera across the food from us. So then Anton and I got front row. These are the best seats in the whole in the whole street food stall. And we we just finished with our bowl of the glass noodles and now we've got another dish. Yeah. What's this dish? This called? is a uh, palabok. Palabok. Yeah. And anato uh, achuete. Yes. Achuete corn starch. Top with uh, tofu, pinapa, chicharron. Chicharron, okay. Uh, before you eat it, you have to squeeze on some calamansi. Of course. <laughs> of course. <laughs> 
Yeah. Did you also eat it with puto? Okay. Like rice cake? Oh, this is a great atmosphere. <laughs> <laughs> awesome place. <laughs> and then the key to this dish is you've got to fully mix it all with the sauce, with the noodles, with all those toppings. That chicharron in there. And there's minced meat, I think, in here as well. Yeah. And tinapa, which is fish. Oh, and, and fish tofu. also. And, and tofu. tofu. So there's a lot of ingredients in this little plate of food. You gotta eat it fast before it all slides off your fork. Oh, that's awesome, man. It's kind of like goopy. But then you've got, what I can really taste is the, the fried garlic in there. Mm -hmm. mm. The fried garlic is really nice in there. And it's like goopy and sticky. And this is just a wonderful street food, Filipino street food. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Sarap. You say salamat. Salamat. Okay, that was absolutely awesome. And you just cannot get a better street food environment than that. This is a market where you can come to really get a feel of the real Manila. It really feels like you're in the heart of Manila here. The action, every, there's so many things for sale and people are really friendly at this market as well. Hello. Hello. <laughs> it's a great place when you're in Manila. This is a place you wanna come explore if you wanna really feel the, the culture of Manila. It's very busy today. Is it like this every day? Oh, okay. It's like this every day. This is a super human traffic jam. All right. We made it through that intersection. Uh, one of the iconic places here is the Quiapo Church. Okay, and we're standing right next yeah. to Quiapo Church right yeah. now. Yes, and uh, it's home to the Black Nazarene, which is very miraculous. Okay. You know, uh, people believe if you pray to, if you have a devotion to the Black Nazarene, it creates mir miracles in your life. Wow, that's awesome. When we were growing up as a child, so fish ball and fish ball carts. <laughs> are they all fish balls or are they chicken no, balls? No, this as is well? fish ball, squid ball, and what you call kick yam, like all, a Chinese. All mixed. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so you just get. We're standing right in front of the church, so it's a little loud. I hope you can hear me. And so, Anton, you just grab a stick yourself, you grab a skewer, yeah. and then you just poke. Whatever you want. Yes, but uh, you get the toasted ones. Usually oh, okay. the, the brown ones. You want the brown ones because those are more crispy. Uh, yeah. Okay. So you then just choose as many as you want. Choose as many. On a stick. Yeah. Uh, you can then, it here. Yeah. You, you just choose as many as you want on a stick. And then you add the sauce. Yes. Okay. You can, uh, now it's modern. You have to put it. You can put it in a cup. Oh, you got, oh you, they have a fork here to push it on? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Come on. Alright. Then you stick it in the cup? Yeah, you put it in the cup. And then uh, you put... Uh, and then you move over to the, the sauce station where you sauce add in your own bar, sauce yeah. into the cup. Yeah, Filipino food is known for sauces. And lots of vinegar lots as well, Lots of yeah. vinegar, lots of sauce. Yeah. So you can add, you know, with onions, with chili. Yeah. Cool. And so you usually have a cup so that people don't double dip. So you create your own sauce. I think this is my favorite sauce here. And you take the, the spoon. Oh yeah, that looks good. Do I need more or is that yeah, good? Yeah, just put more. Panginoong Yesu Cristo, sinabi ko sa iyong mga kustor, kapayapaan ang iniiwan ko sa iyo. Ang aking kapayapaan ang ibibigay ko sa inyo. 
Now I'll just go with vinegar. Let it absorb all of that vinegar and those onions and those um, those chilies. Grab some of those chilies. All right, I got three different types of fish balls here. Oh, it's still pretty hot. It's kind of it kind of has a gooey texture. The vinegar mix is what really makes it good. The vinegar and those those onions and chilies. Oh, look at that bite. They're like party fish balls. This is our childhood favorite. <laughs> Brings back childhood memories. You know, and uh, I, having mass and then after okay. mass, yeah. <clears throat> and I love the the culture of just standing here around the cart yeah. eating. It's so atmospheric and so much fun. Anton was just talking to the owner of this street food stall and he actually said that they are chicken balls. Yeah, so. because they like it bigger and oh, it's two so pesos. Usually. Two pesos per ball per that we ball, just ate. Yeah. Okay. It's, so it's more profitable. <laughs> In the ah, okay. The fish balls are smaller and like one peso or less. <laughs> okay. Yes. Okay, so they're actually chicken balls here. And then right next door to the chicken ball stand is a dried squid stand. And this looks delicious. I smelled it and I knew that's what we need to eat next. These are just the, the squid bodies. And then I'm also gonna get Those are the squid heads. So those are just gonna a grill. Those they're gonna toast over the hot coals really, really fast. Go ahead, go ahead. Chili. <laughs> Chili. Tastes so good. Okay, so good. Yeah. You need to get a lot of onions on there. Is it onions or shallots? Onions, huh? And what you can do is you can try to scoop up as much onions and chilies and vinegar as you can on top of your yeah. your squid. <laughs> All right, man. All right. Mm. <laughs> I was trying not to do that. <laughs> They're really tight. They're really tight on the skewer. So, if you pull too hard, <laughs> all the onions come flying off. That's what happens. <laughs> oh, that's amazing though. Oh, that's delicious. It's like, yeah, it's salty dried squid. Has a little bit of a, a crispiness to it. And then, hello. Hi. But I love it with that vinegar and those onions. Yeah. That's delicious. That is a wonderful Filipino street food. Wait, they have to go because of the oh. mess. You have to dip this. Okay. What's your name? Uh, you want to try? Yeah. No, you can eat. But this is yours. You can have an Anok. No, just eat. Anok. 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 My name is Mark. Patrick. 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 Nice to meet you. Thank you, Mama. Bye-bye. <laughs>